In this video, tiny parking meters. Hey everybody, it's Adrian from Zanza's Toys, back with another 118 scale action figure accessory. In this case, a parking meter. I know everybody hates parking tickets, but if you want to have a street scene, you really need some parking meters. And if you've watched my channel, you know that I like making things that actually do stuff or have a play, some sort of play feature. And this is no exception. So here it is up close. You can see that I've got a front and a back, and there's this little knob. And if you push that up, we get the expired tag, and we can push it down to make it go away. So that's how it works. Let's talk about how I made it. I, I really wanted that mechanism to make it do something, right? So in the case of a parking meter, that means having the expired tag go up and down. So up it. And down. So I originally thought that I, what I would do is have sort of like a cam type system where there'd be a, a knob you would turn kind of like you actually do with a, an old school parking meter and it would have a raised part so sort of like a, sh a shape that was kind of like that and then the tag would rest on that and be either down here or this would turn up and raise it up like that. And then I realized, once I started actually getting measurements for what this was going to need to be in 118th scale, it was just way too tiny to have something like that work. So then I thought I could simplify it further by just having a single piece that rotates directly. So uh, kind of this shape you see here with like a half disc that rotates up. So this again turns up and you get something that's up like that. But even that seemed a little much. So what I ended up doing that ends up being really simple, even more simple, is there's just a, a rectangular piece here with a little knob that pokes out. And if we, we can look a little closer, we can see what one of those parts looked like. So here's the part that moves up and down. So it, it pokes through and goes up and down. So this was fairly straightforward to do in FreeCAD. I just uh, started with getting a reference image, as always. I found a good photo of a parking meter pretty pretty easily, but what was a little difficult was getting a good reference dimension. So what I ended up going with was I managed to Google around a little bit and found that the pipe that parking meters get mounted on is two inch pipe, which does not mean two inches. So this is something that if you haven't encountered, it's it can be kind of a gotcha. So I looked up the outside diameter, or OD, of 2-inch pipe is actually 2.375 inches. Once I had that dimension, I was able to use my measuring tool that I've talked about on this channel before and get the width of the pipe. And then that let me start getting a bunch of measurements for the actual parking meter itself. And from there, I just went into FreeCAD, started modeling stuff up. Fairly straightforward to do. I made the ba base shape and kept adding features to what a I had what I needed for the one half of the parking meter body. And then I added to one side uh, a little raised area for, for the coin slot. And on the other side, I added, I cut out an area to contain the piece that would be the, the expired tag. So then I printed it at the first prototype, which was this, this guy. And it, I still had some black filament in my machine, so it came out kind of two-tone. But overall, I was really pretty happy with this, except if I put it next to the figure, it looks a little bit short. And that's because I, I didn't, the reference image I happened to use didn't have the full length, full height of the parking meter. So what I did is, uh, I, I did most of the work on a Saturday night, and then the next day on Sunday, my wife and I and our son went to a brunch place, we were sitting outside eating some breakfast sandwich, sandwiches, and there was a parking meter right there. So I just whipped out my tape measure and measured from here to the ground, which ended up being 800 and 20 millimeters. So with the, with that reference, I was able to go back and and make this post a little bit longer. So now, if I put a figure next to it, it looks pretty great. Okay, so let's talk about how this all goes together. So there's four pieces that you want to print in, in silver or gray or something like that, and one piece that you want to print in red or paint to be red. So we've got two halves of the park, parking meter head and we've got the post and we have the base to hold it all up. So if we look at the, the two halves, 
and we flip them over, you'll see one side is totally flat, uh, except for the hole for the post, and then the other side has a slot cut out of it. And that's where this part goes. So this just goes in there like that, and it can kind of ride in that groove and go up, up, and down. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you might need to... I, I definitely find myself needing to use a little bit of a, a needle file to kind of go in and, and clean this out a little bit, so that might be necessary. Uh, I did print it without supports because this is a small enough gap that most printers can just bridge it fine. So it's printed like that, but so this was printed kind of out in the air, but it's again, it's so small that most of the time you'll be fine doing that kind of thing. So yeah, so you just drop that in and then get out some handy super glue. So have a little tube of super glue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this part, because uh, I wanna make sure that the glue doesn't get onto the, the, the red part at all. So I'm just gonna give a nice drop here down at the bottom. So I'm not really gonna worry about gluing the top so much because if we glue the bottom nicely, it'll just hold everything together and the tab won't have any place to go anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna line these up and hold them together and give them a little bit of time to set up. So just squeeze, maybe work the, the tab a little bit while the glue is setting up to make sure it doesn't stick. Okay, now that that's set up a bit, the rest of it's really, really easy. All we need to do is glue the post into here and into the base. So I'm gonna glue the head on sep second. So it just has a little more time to set up. And I'm gonna put a little dollop of super glue and to the base and then take the post and just snap it in. This is a little loose, so I'm gonna hold this together and let that set for a few seconds. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a dollop of super glue into the head of the parking meter. And poke that in. And there we go. One, one eighteenth scale parking meter. Yeah, so that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I had a really fun time making this. So normally I'd, I'd have a link down below to the, the files for this, but I'm holding off on that for a little bit. And the reason is, is that this is gonna be part of a Kickstarter that I'm gonna be running soon. And that Kickstarter is gonna be for a, a set of modular pieces to build 118th scale playsets. So I have a lot of ideas of things I wanna do with that, but I'm starting off with a set of sort of like a urban brick building. And one of the stretch goals for that is going to be some sidewalk pieces, including sidewalk components and this parking meter. So if, if you want to know more about that, I'm, I'm definitely going to be talking more about it in the future. I've actually been working on it for a few years now, and my building system has gotten to the point where I think it's, it's really working pretty well, it's easy to print, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people. But I'll have more to say on that soon. But in the meantime, thanks again for watching, and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please do remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps a ton, and it's always much appreciated. Thanks so much. See you next video.